so since I'm a semi-biologist, I uh, graduated <laughs> in bio- <laughs> what? biochemistry. What? Did you have, like, half your body out of the class the entire time? Well, no, like, I'm a biochem Here's your degree. It's ripped in half, and we're only giving it to the side of your body. I'm I'm just... <laughs> it looks better on the camera. Okay, so uh, we're recording. That should be flashing. So, hi, okay. I'm Ty. Hi. I'm nice Jacob. To nice to meet you. So, I got a hobby where I set up a table mm-hmm. and talk to people about whatever they want to talk about. I think okay. it's really cool to show that, you know, any two people can talk about anything, regardless uh-huh. of the color, whatever. Big size, how rich they uh-huh. look, doesn't matter. Uh, normally, the conversations that we have are really cool when they're centered around what someone really strongly believes or a uh-huh. philosophy they have or something they wrap their lives around. If you okay. want to talk about that, we can talk about Marvel movies okay. or your favorite junk food. <laughs> All right. But is there anything that you really strongly believe is true or something you're confident about? That's can a, I also fit something and ask uh, your name again? Oh, yeah. Jacob. Jacob. I'm Ty. Ty. Uh-huh. Jacob. That's a big question. Um, well, well, I'd say I'm a Christian, so that, okay. that's probably my biggest um, belief. Uh, I'm not. There are a lot of beliefs in Christianity. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. Um, Would you just say, like, the Christian I, God exists, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I believe in, in one God and that his uh This is a really is, heavy topic. Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're a middle school class, by the way. Just so. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. But if you want to talk about this, it's totally oh, cool, because I believe uh-huh. we can talk about anything with anything. Well, let's just go down the list. We'll... we'll Make a list of things, and maybe we can pick one. Uh, no, I. Or, we can talk about Christianity. That's cool. Okay. So, would you say then that is it a specific sect of Christianity? No, just Christianity. Uh, like almost like non-denominational. I guess you would call non-denominational. Uh huh. The best denomination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of striking. There's like thousands of sects of of Christianity. Yo. Which is. A bit concerning, like, from my standpoint, yeah. as a Christian, that that's not a good thing that we're that divided. Right. Um, what I found is my mom lives in Chattanooga, right? Mm-hmm. And on her corner is the 4th Street Baptist Church. Uh-huh. And then across the street is the 5th Street Baptist <laughs> Church. They can see each other. Yeah. When uh-huh. the congregation split, the one parking lot, they go to different directions yeah. because they can't, they don't get along. Yeah. Uh-huh. And maybe their messages are different. But it, Yeah, and it, it's sad because a lot of the times different sects, oh, they just way. like... I did say five minutes. Okay, I promise. You can leave fine. whenever you want. <laughs> um, a lot of the sects, they fight over really just secondary, tertiary mm. things. It, it's really not the main thing, um, which, in my opinion, or I guess in Christian theology is that, you know, God sent his son into the world um, to save the world from sin. Okay. Um, We usually, most churches tend to fight over just, like, little traditional things, and it's really sad that they they separate. I also feel like whenever a pastor brings in a new car, Uh (laughs) you know what I mean? You know where I'm going with this? Or, like, he has a suit that's a little bit too nice, or uh maybe there's a person who just has too many flowers in their hair. Let's make our own church. Yep. Yeah. Something uh-huh. like that. Something like that. Or uh-huh. maybe like even just like how you baptize people. Like oh. So like that's a big thing because I guess um, where I'm from, like the majority of them are Baptists, and they're pretty strict on like how you should do baptism. And mm. It's a very like you know, how long special you keep thing. them under the water. Exactly. What how age long? You can what start age it. you can start? Um, As if there was instructions on the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh huh. Yeah. So. And every church does it differently, but to fight over, like, how you should do it is kind of nonsense to me. Can I throw out something? Yeah. And normally when we have these conversations, I always just gently challenge for the, the sake of conversation. Uh-huh. If you told me you like pretzels, I would then like, have you tried potato chips? <laughs> it's like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you had said that there's a lot of fights over secondary things. Uh-huh. What are the primary things that you think, if you don't follow this, you're wrong? Uh-huh. Okay. Um... Well, this was a big debate kind of in the first century. Okay. I guess it's kind of been... Actually, I guess there's still debate among, like, the theologists. The first century? From, like, zero the to first cent- Yeah, yeah. Okay. Over, like, who uh, Jesus was. Like, okay. was he um, 100% God, or was he, like, half human, half God? Like, how human was he, and how divine was he? Okay. Um, in that... I think now most people are pretty much settled on, like, he was 100% man and 100% God. What? Which doesn't... It, it's weird. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. And 100% of confess- a math teacher at the same time, too. He's just like, he can do it. Uh-huh. He breaks... He can break... Re- well... It's ethereal. It's just, like... It's yeah. hard to... So where do you fall on that? 
<laughs> that's tough. I'd say, I don't know, I, I'm kind of a, a skeptic as well, and I'd say, like, you can't really tell, um, and I don't know if there's, there's not really a way to make a definitive statement on something like that. I love that you said that. There's not a really definitive way to make the statement mm -hmm. of who and on, Jesus and, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In in regards to like how 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 much man was he and he how how divine was. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. <sighs> man. And I guess you could say that's a primary issue, or you could also say that's a secondary issue, depending on on where you fall. I'm wondering though. Um, and I'm definitely not a theologist, as you can probably tell. I'm not. I'm not a very good theologist uh -huh. either. I'm wondering, could we say that the statement is then that for Christianity you got to believe in God and Jesus? Yeah, yeah, that's like, uh -huh. that's and I think thing. at least for me as well, like understanding that God came to to save the world and not condemn it. Mm. Um, in the form that, of Jesus? Yeah, in that the two state, the two uh, commandments that he gave... These are more secondary things. I'm about to start my own church. Oh, okay. Right <laughs> it's like, hey, two I mean, these Jacob's, are pretty... <laughs> he's saying all these extra things. That's against our thing. Let's start the the West Side Arboretum. <laughs> Back to school. All right. I'd say the two things that are pretty um, um, apparent throughout his whole ministry, mm -hmm. and he's... And he stated um, in like two, they have records of in at least two gospels of what he said. And it's like the great commandment is love God and love people. I'm um, going to throw out one random question. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You, are, you said you're non-denominational, but you were quote, not necessarily quoting scripture, but you're using a lot of the biblical text to support mm -hmm. the beliefs. Yeah. Is there a particular Bible that you think is definitive? Because there's different versions yeah, of yeah, that yeah. too. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I don't have like a, a specific... Um, translation that I find is Do you like, look for the common denominator among them all? Or like, is, do you have any way of parsing actually, because like, some books have completely different chapters and completely yeah, different yeah, verses. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, so those are like like the Latin Vulgate and um, some of like, I guess I think the Catholic Bible yeah. has like an extra chat yeah, or an go, extra book in there. stay in America, you yeah, have yeah, yeah, the yeah. Church of Latter-day Saints, they have uh, their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have Jehovah uh -huh. Witnesses, they have their own. They have their own. Um, and that's just in the U.S. You go to South Africa, they have a Bible. It's completely, not completely, but, but it, it has it's different. distinctly different from ours. Uh -huh. And even in the same religion, you got New International Version, King yeah, yeah. James uh -huh. Version, NBE. Like, when it comes to the different translations, one? like it doesn't matter to me. Okay. Um, but I guess I, I've never, like, fully looked into to the other um, books of the Bible that aren't, like, standard, at least here in America. In America. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. How confident are you that Jesus and God exist? Oh. Uh, What's up, guys? <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hi. Hi. You guys look super cool. Isn't this, like, the coolest crowd that just walked by right now? You guys should be in the Gap commercial. This is amazing. Uh, is it a Gap commercial? Yeah. 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 Very cool. He's trying to bait us in. Let's chat. Look how cool. Look how cool they look. I'm just oh, saying. <laughs> <laughs> where, where we want to find ourselves later? If you want a card, here you go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, not a problem. All right. I'd say 100%. 100%? Ah, very, yeah. I'm going to define 100% and just let me know because yeah, uh -huh. it's a number. And I yeah, hate, yeah, yeah. and you can change the number. I don't care. But 100% to me is like... Like no doubt. No doubt. Uh -huh. There's no way I can be wrong. I'm not asking questions anymore. Uh -huh. I'm certain close-minded on the position. I'm close on the position. 100%. Let's go 98%. 98%? Ninety <laughs> yeah, just, I mean, everybody <laughs> has those periods of doubt, right? I think so. Uh -huh. And I think it's actually healthier to not be absolute yeah, about what uh -huh. you believe. What got you to the 98% confidence on this guy? And um, Jesus. Yeah, I'm yeah, just going to yeah. combine them Yeah, both. yeah, go ahead. Um, or like on the existence of the Christian God. That, so I'm a, I'm actually a medical student mm -hmm. and I found a big interest in biology when I was in high school. And that that's kind of when I started being really skeptical of things. Okay. And eventually you just... And that's a big discussion. <laughs> uh, you you kind of meddle through all the, the specifics of, like, what, uh, I guess, like, Christians say and what, like, biologists say about... about Can't you I, I guess, like, scientists... Christian biologists? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, and so you can, and there's like a whole field of Christianity called, uh, or theology called, um, what's the name? Glee Club? 
<laughs> no, they, they seem like a really handy. Oh no, it, it's um, apologetics. And oh okay, yeah. Have you yeah, heard of it? Yeah, I yeah. know about it. Yeah. So it's about like trying to use science to like just to reason that God exists and that Jesus existed. Um, what do you think he about says, that? Um, there's some validity to it, and then there's also some fields of that that are just total nonsense coming from my science background. Like, do you feel like you need science to support a belief? I don't in think God? you need it. You in fact, it I think there's enhances the belief. It can. There can be an issue that where I think some people try so hard to prove the existence of God that mm. they forget the point of God. Mm. Um, oh, and it's man. like they're just I I trying. That down. That's <laughs> go good. ahead, go ahead. I think people just try and try. And I think it's maybe because they don't believe themselves and they want to. Mm. Um, but I don't know if that's a. So, what's a big like question. some of the best evidence that you've heard to support the existence of God? And would you. Um, and yeah, is yeah. this what's getting you to your 98%? Um, this is more not my field when it comes to like astrophysics. I actually have a really good pal who's... Okay. Um, I, I would just generally like to know what specifically what got speci you to get okay. to 98%. All right. Um, so since I'm a semi-biologist, I uh, graduated <laughs> in bio <laughs> biochemistry. Did you have like half your body out of the <laughs> class the entire time? Well, no, like, I'm a biochem major. Here's your degree. It's ripped in half and we're only giving it to the side of your body. I'm, I'm just not pursuing biology anymore. I'm pursuing medicine. Hey, but, um, it's still biology. Yeah. Like, yeah, I get it. I'm biochemistry, when, by the oh, way. Oh, are you? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so when you look at the uh, creation of life, mm -hmm. and you, let's say you look at the central dogma of biology, which is like DNA goes to RNA, which goes to protein. Yes. But for that cycle to continue, well, I guess it's a cycle. It's not just a, a linear progression because you need protein and RNA to make DNA as well and so you kind of need a cycle mm -hmm. um and how that cycle starts i can't like i've looked into it i've tried to read papers and there's nothing that's convinced me that no, that can just spontaneously happen or agreed. it can even happen with throughout a progress agreed um, uh it can happen throughout a progress i think what do you mean by that like to, it, it can i'm thinking about the words as you're saying yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry for making it, weird faces it was, it was a bad wording <laughs> but uh like, the progress to get to that cycle, mm -hmm. I can't see a way of, of that happening. Um, there's, like, big, there's, like, one big hypothesis out there called the RNA hypothesis. RNA world theory? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, because RNA can act as, like, a catalyst and also a, as a way to store information, biological information, that might have been what was initially um, used as, as protein and DNA. Right. Um, but... Like when they, do you know uh, the Stanley Miller experiment? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they show that if you put like RNA in one tube RNA, and make it rapidly produce itself, it can make like little tiny monsters of itself. Or well, like simplified versions of RNA. The one I'm thinking of is that they put a whole bunch of um, nucleotides. Sorry for interrupting. Well, you know, you know, you're fine. I'm just. Uh, it, it's been a while since I've read it. So like they try to recreate the. Uh, the oceans of the earth mm -hmm. and like this in this um small environment and then they would like zap it with um electricity sure um to kind of uh, simulate the <laughs> simulate the um environment and atmosphere of the earth mm -hmm. um four million years ago right and they show that they can actually make some um molecules that are essential to life some amino acids right um and like urea formaldehyde stuff like that However, the amino acids that they make are only like glycine and very simple nonpolar sure. amino acids. So mm -hmm. they haven't shown that they can create more of the complex amino acids that are needed um, to sustain life. And they also never showed that they could create DNA or RNA. Can I ask you, how does this get you to the God belief? Like, how does so, how do so these yeah, experiments yeah, yeah. lead okay, you so to like, ninety eight percent confidence in God? I just I don't see a way of life spontaneously generating, and I don't see a way if you like if you were to talk to my astrophysics pal. Sure. And if you talk to him, I cannot see a way of the world or the the universe spontaneously. Jacob, can generates. I ask you a question? Yeah, I'm wondering. So you have this discover, you have this theory that's presented in the scientific model, uh -huh. and it sounds incredible. And you say that sounds. I can't see how that's feasible yet. Uh huh. Therefore, this completely this must, other thing. Uh huh. How did how did that how is that your foundation? How did that become? The I wouldn't thing I wouldn't say plan? that's my foundation. That's just like. Part of or how does this being hard to believe uh -huh. make this ninety eight percent confident? Like how? Oh, okay. How did that become the alternative at a ninety eight percent confidence level? Like was uh -huh. that the reason why you're ninety eight percent? I think that's just part of it, and I think 
um, if you look into other parts um, of my faith. Uh, so, like, it's kind of hard to explain. And I, it, it's kind of all feeling, right, from a skeptic's point of view. Um, there are some things in your life that you just kind of, you have a gut instinct. Gut instinct? That you, that you know it's true. Um, are gut instincts ever wrong? Oh, all the time. <laughs> if they can be wrong all the time, does it justify uh -huh. supporting a 98% confidence? From a logical standpoint, no. What is getting you to that 98%? I'd say, so, a belief in, in certain things in the Bible. So, one of the big arguments in apologetics is, why would 12 people um, who followed Jesus around, heard what he said, and then saw him die, lie about him coming back to life, only to, only to know that they were going to be persecuted and put to death mm. for saying that? Mm. Like does that get you to the 98%? that that's kind of like the main thing. It's like the is biology, the main... biology aspect, and then that as well. I'm just gonna test Go if that, that is actually uh -huh. your main thing. I'm gonna ask you a question. If it turned out, this is kind of weird. And I'm no, go ahead. Again, I'm just stimulating conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if it turned out that there was substantial evidence to a criteria of your satisfaction uh -huh. that they were in fact lying, uh -huh. would that reduce your confidence? From 98% down probably, to like 80, yeah. 70, uh -huh. maybe lower than that. Probably. Okay. Can I throw, can I ask you a question? Yeah, go ahead. Uh -huh. Say I had a, um, I don't know, I got. A, I have a cat. Uh -huh. I do have a cat. And he's a What's really his cute name? cat. His name's Vinny. Vinny. And I walk him on a leash and he's a yeah. black cat. And he's super, super <laughs> you cool. You walk your cat on a leash? I walk my black, so listen, when I, so I, I used to work overseas for a while. Okay. It's very common over there. In Sweden, uh -huh. everyone's walking their cats around. In America, they keep them locked up indoors and yeah. I'm like, that cat wants to be outside. That's why uh -huh. he's on the window. And if you leash train them really young, they're super, super cool about it. But um, it's not so much the leash training. It's just, would you believe me if I told you I had a cat and I showed you a picture of the cat and, like, I'm holding the cat? Like, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. If I told you um, I actually have a tiger and his name is Marshall and uh -huh. he's a full-blown full blown Bengal tiger and okay. I have a picture of him, and it's me and the tiger. Would you yeah. believe I have a tiger then? It'd be tougher. It'd be harder to believe. It would be harder to believe. Yeah. Uh -huh. If I told you I had a purple dragon from <laughs> Jupiter that came and visits me in a time uh -huh. machine, and I had a picture of the purple dragon, and there's like a DeLorean in the uh -huh. background, and it's a picture. It's yeah. the same picture. Would you believe that? I'd say it's Photoshopped. It's, yeah. <laughs> it seems like the more incredible the claim, uh -huh. the better the standard of evidence, or the, yeah, the standard yeah. of evidence uh -huh. improves. Would you say that God is more incredible than a purple dragon from Jupiter? I would, yeah. Uh -huh. So the thing isn't so much that... I, w I think the apologist angle is, hey, it, what's the likelihood of these 12 people lying? Uh -huh. It's like, maybe it's not even that they're lying. It's just that that's a really low bar of evidence. Mm -hmm. It's basically 12 people saying, Tyrone has a cat. You believe that. Yeah. Tyrone has a tiger. 12 people say that. Maybe you'd believe it. Maybe not. Uh -huh. 12 people told you, hey, Tyrone has a purple dragon from Jupiter. It's like, I'm not uh -huh. believing that. Like, you need, you need more evidence yeah, to support uh -huh. that with. What if, it, what if it is a case of not so much that they might be lying, but that just may not be enough evidence to reach that conclusion as a definitive claim for at least a 98% certainty that a god exists, mm -hmm. since it's way more incredible than a purple dragon. What do you think about that? All right, can you restate that question? Yeah, it's kind of a more? long question. Yeah. Do you have enough evidence to justify 98% mm -hmm. confidence in God? And if it's not on uh -huh. that 12 apostle story, yeah. uh -huh. what else is getting you to that level? What else? Hmm. I'd say I can't answer that just right, right now. I'm totally fine with uh -huh. that. Can I, can I throw one last thing? Oh, yeah, go ahead. If I had a coin, uh -huh. it's a quarter. It's not a trick coin. Uh -huh. If I flip it and I catch it, put it on the back of my hand, I don't know if it's heads or tails. Mm -hmm. Do you know if it's heads or tails? No. Nope. That's the best answer. Yeah. Until we have that for evidence. Uh huh. Jacob. All right. It's wonderful talking to you. Nice talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> that was really cool. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, explain to me what you do exactly again. With sure. Okay. So if you want, here's a card. Uh -huh. I got a YouTube channel.